Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope your day is going well. Thank you for joining back again to get the videos as, as always. Uh, so for this video, I have a few updates guys and uh, the hottest update, the hottest issue is the issue of the contract of Fusero. Of course, you know that his contract has expired with the AFCON that has just finished. Uh, but right now, you know, there's a, there's a big deliberation from the NFF side as to whether they are going to offer Fusero a new contract or whether they are going to look for someone else to re to replace that vacant um, but of course what's coming out right now from, uh, is the fact that nff has now organized an, an emergency meeting uh with Osiris and his team and of course they want to talk about the contract issue uh, contract uh uh issue yes of course and whether or not they are going to keep Osiris or you know uh, fire him and, and then get someone else. But NFL's uh, spokesperson, uh, you know, is saying that the NFL is not exactly uh, in a hurry to change Pusero, that they were impressed by, you know, what Pusero did with the national team, you know, how he uh, carried the team to the final. Uh, so from all indication, NFL might want to try and negotiate a deal that will keep Pusero as the, as the Super Eagles uh, head coach. But that's on the one side. Another side of it is, if his, if NFF agrees to give him a contract, will Pusero sign the contract? That's another issue because Pusero also uh, hinted a while ago that he may not be interested in uh, continuing uh, continuing as a Super Eagles head coach because of uh, certain uh, you know circumstances that he has not revealed, and of course he's also being wanted by. A number of national teams. Algeria is one of the teams that uh, wants for serious services. They are uh, reportedly planning to sack uh, their current coach and then employ for serious to handle their team because, of, of course, Algeria did very badly in this recently concluded AFCON and they went out in the group stages. They want someone like Poseiro to take over their, their national team. And um, a few months ago, we also uh, saw how Poseiro. Uh, uh, Zamalek, an Egyptian club side, was interested in uh, hiring, hiring Posero. That even brought about some kind of controversy because then Posero was still handling the Super Eagles job and it felt like a disloyalty, uh, you know, for him to be uh, having discussions or for his team to be having discussions with uh, Zamalek while still under contract uh, with Nigeria and NFF. Among the frontliners to replace Posero, uh, is Emmanuel Amunike. He's obviously the one that has, uh, you know, uh, been directly linked to the job if Posero is unable to renew his contract or if NFF decides to let Posero go. So um, Emmanuel Amunike is uh, one person that has openly expressed his interest in the Nigerian Spygoose job. He says that he wants to, uh, you know, be the man that coach, uh, that, you know, takes over from Posero and, uh, you know, directs the Super Eagles to that height that he wants to be. Amuniki, you know, we know him is a he's a he's a he's a legend in, in Nigerian football. Of course, he helped us lift a lot of trophies in the nineties, and of course, has also helped in the capacity of of being a coach from the under seventeens and under twenties. We've seen how good he's uh, been able to, you know, carry these boys. Even Osima is uh, a player that was discovered by Amuniki at the under seventeen level. So. Uh, he's no stranger to us. We know his capability, and he's now the one that uh, you know has expressed interest that if if he's being called upon, he's going to uh, you know deliver on, on the job. But NFL are not hurrying to sack Posero. They don't. They are not even hurrying to employ a local or a home base uh, uh, coach. In fact, the indication is that NFL do not does not want to employ a home base Nigerian coach because uh, uh, they feel that you know, what they want or their, their dream or their ambition for Nigerian Super Eagles is, is not what the uh, home base coach can get get them or get us. So they are looking out for, you know, the suitability uh, of a certain coach towards the objective that they have for the Nigerian Super Eagles. And they don't feel that Nigerian coaches or local coaches have that uh, ability to deliver. Let me move forward and tell you that Osime has now been, uh, you know, demanded by Napoli with immediate effects to return to the club uh, and start training ahead of their weekend's fixture 
against Genoa. They have a, a, a weekend game with Genoa. Napoli want to see him here to return if possible. Today being Wednesday, want to see him back in Naples so he can uh, start training with the guys and get integrated in the team that's going to play this weekend. And uh, it's not just for Sime. Majority of the guys, all of the guys, in fact, you know, have now uh, you know, started getting calls and notifications from their, their club side because, of course, you know that there's no break at all for these footballers. Once they finish the, the, the national duties or, or the international duties with their uh, national teams, they will uh, immediately return to their club side because they're still, uh, you know, under contract with their club side and... To even come to play AFCOM is based on the uh, leave that the club side has given them. And uh, this club side wants them back now. Uh, well, of course, Osime, they want him back today being Wednesday. Stanley Wabali obviously also uh, being pressured by his uh, club, Chippa United, to return uh, to the club, to South Africa. You know, one time I made a video where, uh, you know, we talked about how he received threats. Uh, one ex Super Egg uh, uh, player actually revealed that Stanley received threats from South Africans uh, that he should not come back to Chippa United after we won that South African game. Uh, but of course, Stanley has talked about this and he, what he's saying is that these kinds of things happen in football. You, you know, people express emotions and sometimes it becomes a threat. But it's not going to stop the fact that he will return to Chippa United because he still obviously has a contract with them. He knows that uh, there, ha there has been uh, a number of club sites coming for him uh, from France, French clubs, uh, Belgian clubs. I've talked about this before. And uh, of course, a number of European countries, uh, you know, we've seen interest uh, coming for San Stanley Wabali, but he's confirming that there hasn't been anything concrete, uh, you know, as to trigger a move for, uh, for him from Chippa United to Europe. But he's still going to stay put in Japan United and continue, you know, what he's been doing. He is obviously very grateful to Japan United for giving him the platform, you know, to play, to shine, for him to be discovered by the Nigerian Super Bowl. So he's definitely returning to Japan United despite the threats that, you know, he's been having. But of course, uh, we know that even if a deal comes in for him, he's still going to uh, it's still going to be negotiated with his parents' club, Japan United, and once a deal is accepted and agreed then he can now make the transfer to europe so it's something that takes time process and of course he's going to be in south africa playing for Japan united before this happens and uh, the likes of the other guys uh ekong is going to go back to poke and uh continue his run of form they're actually trying to win their their league there so his, go his service is going to be very needed although we've seen you know interest from saudi arabian club side who you know have now expressed that they want to you know sign him and obviously increase his week weekly wages maybe twice as much as what he's receiving in poke but of course that one is still going to uh take a take a take some processes before we see that one uh actualized but i'm definitely going to keep tabs on all of this and uh you know share it here on the channel uh kenneth and Meruel, going back to Kas uh, kasim pasa uh, you know the club side that he stays he plays with the, uh, the likes of the other players as well, Chukwese going back to uh, AC Milan, uh, Lukman going back to Atlanta to continue the fine uh, work that he's doing there. So these guys are definitely going to go back, uh, you know, today, tomorrow, uh, you know, to start representing their, their, their club side because uh, it's all over. They've, you know, done great things in AFCON. Unfortunately, we couldn't carry the cup. But of course, second place is not as bad. The update, guys, everybody's leaving uh, the national team. Uh, even uh, Coach Fini, the judge, is definitely going to go back and join us and continue his Enimba uh, role. Because, of course, you know that he's the coach for the Enimba side. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this uh, contract situation uh, unfolds in the next couple of days and who's going to replace Pocero or whether he's going to uh, be signed a new contract for the Super Eagles. Thank you for catching this uh, video, guys. If you're interested, you know, in knowing how Nigerian Super Eagles uh, play as fair, and of course the national team, I urge you to subscribe to the channel, guys. And uh, thank you for catching the video. God bless you.